Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of redid one of my wigs, well, my only wig, honestly. And also I'm gonna show you how I wash my hair. Well, I'm gonna wash my hair and take off my braids. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is wash the wig. So I'm using the Bain Cristal by Castells and the Bain de Terre, it's like a nourishing conditioner. When, you use, when you're washing your extensions, try not to use anything with too much proteins in it because um, it's gonna break the hair basically too much protein which is break the hair and this hair is already dead so yeah um, yeah so this is the hair so what I did with the wig I just separated the wig in like five sections so I have the bottom part and then I have two upper parts like this and I just braided it because it's just gonna be easier when right now I'm in my bathroom and I'm basically washing it in the sink and uh, yeah so I do section by section also it helps so it doesn't get tangled too too much um, it helps so you really go like through it like in between your um, sections when you're washing the hair because if you do like one big blob it's actually pretty hard so this is after I washed it I did put some conditioner I leave it in the sink for like maybe five ten minutes you don't have to like I mean it's conditioner it's not a mask so whatever it's fine at least five minutes and then rinse it out and this is after I rinse out the wig and I detangle the hair this hair is already pretty actually pretty easy to detangle so it was pretty nice and then after that I just let it air dry I think I put it all side a little bit so it doesn't like leak everywhere but as soon as like it was good I put it I left it air drying inside this is how it looks like when it's air dry it's really raggedy I know but this is how the hair air dries so this is um, what I'm gonna do now so after I let it air dry this is how the wig looks like for my project I needed another wig cap this is actually why I'm do redoing the wig because the wig cap like it's really really loose so I'm just gonna like take the tracks from one and just transfer it to this one this is all I'm doing honestly so I need some treading I need some scissors a clip if you have like a to tie the hair and then a brush obviously and I had some leftover hair from like last time I did uh, the wig so I'm gonna replace like the top part because you know the top part is always the part that like gets damaged really easily it's always like super dry and everything so I'm gonna replace whatever the top part of the hair I have with this I think these are 16 inches if I remember well and yeah this is what I'm gonna do so yeah anyways this is how the hair looks like well the wig looks like this is all of it done um it took me like two days i didn't do it like all day every day in two days but like whenever i had time i would just like transfer the hair to the new bonnet so basically like i said i wanted to transfer it to the new bonnet uh because it got really loose i needed to be like more fitted and the hair is still pretty good so i didn't want to just like throw the whole wig up in the garbage as you guys saw like it's a u-part wig this is all i wear because i like to have a leave out so it looks more natural i'm not into like the whole gluing the lace and everything i never tried it to be honest but it's just like it's really time consuming this one i can just like clip it in and it's fine um yeah so this is how it looks like it's about 18 inches it might be a bit shorter now since the hair is um old so it might be a little bit of breakage at the length but anyways then i'm just gonna add some clips what i do is i do like two front clips and one at the bottom i don't really use the one at the bottom but i still put one so a couple of days later i decided it was time to take off my braids um yeah it took me longer than i expected because probably because i had more uh braids than i usually do so i didn't really like calculate how long it was gonna take me i don't really film it but you guys know how to take off your braids <laughs> so i didn't need to film that part um yeah so after that this is me with no braids my hair is dirty here for my hair i use the same shampoo as, as i use for the wig but for uh, conditioner i use the kerasta simon anti-user so because i need some um, proteins in my hair for breakage and after all this i blow dried my hair i did add the clips uh on the wig took off all the small threads that were hanging out and this is my hair blow dry and everything you guys can see how it just lays on the hair on my head basically it's like this there's no gap behind the ears anymore because the cap is fitted to my head um this is just the wig like lightly 
straighten just to take out some of the puffiness and some of the tangles and my hair also I think I straightened it the night before or something like that so here you can see like I said the top part is brand new hair that I did wash also by the way always wash your hair when you just cut them it takes out it takes out some of the stench honestly so it really helps and yeah this is just the hair uh, like I said the hair is still pretty good especially when I style it it looks good um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys how it looks in real time so you guys can see um, yeah I wish I had more hair because the bottom part do get tangled also it's pretty damaged but it's fine I just wanted at least the top part to be really nice so yeah, here I'm just showing you how it looks like with all of it done. So yeah, it took me like, all of this honestly took me like about 10 days to do. Like washing the hair, transferring the, the hair, and then fitting into my head, taking off my braids, washing my hair. Um, yeah, it took me a while, but I still try to film as much as I could. I didn't, I'm sorry I didn't film like me threading the wig and everything with the hair, but it was, it's so awkward. Like I don't have a stand to put my, my head on, so it it's just on my lap so I wasn't gonna film that um, but here you can see like it looks pretty straight the hair is still pretty good um, I can probably go another like six months if not more uh, with this hair the good thing about this hair if I remember the hair I'm gonna put it down below in the description box uh, the good thing about this hair is like once you wash it and say it kind of revives the hair the same way that like maybe after a week this hair is gonna be like a bit rough but as soon as you put a little bit of heat on it kind of goes um really soft again and everything and when you wash it it like it's even better it does have a smell though the more you like put heat on the more it smells like it has like that burnt smell but once you wash it like everything is good you guys can see the hair still has like a lot of movement and still looks pretty good i'll see i prefer it when i wave it but since i just washed it i'm gonna wear it pretty straight uh, for the next couple next couple of weeks and this is how it looks like the length on when you guys see my the full length of the wig on me and how it looks like i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was pretty short but i'll see you in the next one and don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys love you guys bye